Hi and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at five quick SEO tweaks that we can make to optimize our blog for Google. Okay, the site that I'm going to be using is a demonstration test site that I've got set up called home-business.org. And the first thing we're going to do is start with editing the HT access file. Now you'll find, find this in the root folder for your domain. So you need to download a copy of it so that you can actually get to it and edit it. Now I've actually downloaded mine using FTP so that I can open it up with my text pad. Um, you could equally download it using cPanel as well. Just make sure you've got a copy of it locally. It's worth having that anyway so that you've got a backup of it in case you need to restore the default HD access file. Okay, so this is the default format. Um, that's what you generally get on your server. It can vary depending on your server and the type of hosting you have, uh, but this is pretty much the, the default norm. Okay, so the first piece of code that we're going to add to our HD access file is to hide our XML sitemaps from the search engines. Now, your XML sitemap basically helps the search engine, the spiders, crawl your site and find all your relevant pages uh, and posts, etc., all the content, okay? But you don't want the actual sitemap being listed in the search results. So to prevent that, we're just going to add a bit of code to our HD access file and that is the code that we're going to use okay now you'll notice that it falls within this is the the important bit here and it falls within an if module rewrite uh, which we already already have one of those up above so whilst this can stand alone as it is what i can do to keep things tidy is take that out of there and add it into that previous mod rewrite just to keep things simple and tidy okay so that's the first change we're going to make Okay, step number two, we are going to remove the extra query parameters from URLs. Uh, let's show you an example. People can put uh, parameters at the end of a link pointing at your site. So if your site is yoursite.com, they can put front slash question mark ref equals blah, 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 or anything else, uh, a question mark and all sorts of things. They can use this for different purposes. It can be tracking, it can be malicious, whatever. The problem is the, the search engines will still see this as a distinct URL, so they will effectively treat it as a different page on your site. So the link juice is then going to ref equals blah, 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 rather than your domain. So it's wasting that link juice, which we don't want for SEO purposes. So we want to make sure that even though the link will still work and it's an incoming link, when it gets to our site, it actually resolves to that, and that's what the search engines see. So that's where the link juice goes. Okay. So this bit of code that we're going to use will get rid of those parameters. Okay. This is the full code. Again, it comes within a mod rewrite. So to keep things tidy, I can just take that out from there and pop it in here again now this is formatting things for me so i'm just going to take out the extra spaces here uh, the other thing you can do is leave a line between each of those uh, parts of the code if you want to keep them distinct for your own purposes so you can see what's what okay so that is all we need to do for the second part and it will strip out those extra query parameters from incoming urls and make sure your link juice uh, make sure you're getting the most benefit from those links pointing out your site Okay, so those are the two changes we're making to the HT access file. Uh, we can now click on save and save that and upload that back to the root folder for our site. Uh, I would again suggest you keep a copy locally in case you ever need to make changes to it again, uh, but get that uploaded and we're done. The next thing we need to do is make sure we've got a robots.txt file. Now this is a brand new site, so there isn't one. Uh, it depends on your host whether there'll be one set up automatically or not. Mine doesn't have one, I don't believe, so I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna save this new file as robots.txt. So that's R-O-B-O-T-S, oops, S not D. You can't see that, but I was mis mistyping there. Uh, and just click on save. If I pull this up, you can see what I'm doing. Click on save, so we've now saved that. And once we've made the changes to it, we will want to upload that to the root folder of our site as well. Okay, this change is to stop Google and other search engines uh, indexing our core WordPress files and scripts. Basically, the, the files that make WordPress function, uh, Word, the search engines have no interest in those and they shouldn't be listed in the search engine results. So we just wanna make sure that the folders where that data, that content is, are excluded from searches. So the code that we need to paste in is that user agent disallow 
and those are the folders that we don't want to have indexed, okay? So very simple, paste that code in, save that file, and upload it to your root folder for your domain. Now you can also add in any other folders here that you don't want the search engine to index. So if you have a downloads folder, you could add that, or if you want to add your images folder, you could add that. And the format, fairly self-explanatory, disallow, colon, front slash, folder name, front slash. Okay, so I've added my downloads folder, and my images folder so those won't be indexed by the search engines so again if you add anything extra save it and upload that new folder uh, that new file to your root folder okay the next change we're going to make involves going back to the site itself so let's go back to homebusiness.org which is our test site and we're going to make an edit to the 404 template in our theme so you go to appearance you go to editor and on the right hand side here you choose the 404 template okay now the code that we're going to add I'm just going to pop it in here in front of the header uh, there is the code let me put a space before it and after it so you can see it and basically what we're going to do is we're going to log our 404 errors and we're going to send that information to Google to Google Analytics to track those 404 error pages basically a 404 page is uh, what's displayed when someone comes to a page that doesn't exist or they use a broken URL so they're shown this error page instead now tracking that in Google will allow us to see if that's happening a lot if someone's looking for a page that doesn't exist uh, because that's lost traffic traffic that we can do something with um, so it's very good to find that out and work out what's occurring and fix the problem so we're not actually losing that traffic Okay, two quick extra points to mention here. First of all, when you update your theme, you can potentially lose that code from the 404 template if that particular template file is updated in your theme update. Now that particular file isn't updated very often, so uh, it's unlikely to occur, uh, but if you notice in Google Analytics that you aren't getting those 404 uh, error reports anymore, then you will need to pop in here and just make sure you've still got that code in there, okay? If so, just pop it back in, and again, once you've finished with the edits, you do need to click on Update File to make sure that's updated. Uh, am I sure I want to do this? Yes, please try again. Uh, that's the security on my server uh, for that. Basically, you should be able to update the file there. If you can't, if that isn't an option, it will be down to the file permission settings on your server, and you may need to get those changed either by talking to your host or by using FTP to play with the permissions and change it to 777 so you can edit it and then put the permissions back. Slightly advanced, uh, but if you know what you do, you don't know what, how to do that, it's very easy. And if you don't, simply ask your web host to do it. They should be able to get that done for you. Now, the second point here is this 404 page can be very useful. Uh, I'm not going to cover this in this video, but I will be doing another advanced WordPress tweaks video where I'll show you how to actually add some extra code in here to give people something useful when they land on this 404 error page. Instead of them just seeing an error message, uh, you can send them to your main page or to a squeeze page or to an offer page. You know, instead of them just seeing an error message, give them something useful uh, to make sure you're actually making use of that otherwise lost traffic. Okay, the next and last change we're gonna make is to the functions page. So we go to theme functions PHP, open this page up, and we're gonna add an extra bit of code in here. Again, let's just scroll down and put it somewhere where I can see, let's put it here. Okay, now what this is going to do is add our image logo URL to the RSS feed. So it's a way of inserting our branding into our RSS feed. So anybody reading our RSS feed will be aware of what our site is, who we are. Um, it just adds some extra professional uh, touches and makes you, uh, it brands your site uh, and gets your brand in front of people. So very easy to do, just add that extra bit of code in. Um, I would say we've got the logo URL here. If your theme doesn't have a logo URL, a logo built in, then you may want to actually hard code that in, uh, which you can do very easily. Just pop in the URL for your actual logo image, making sure that you have one on your site. So for instance, I've uploaded my logo.png to the my images folder, so I can pop that uh, 
the URL for that image straight in there so it's hard coded. But your theme should have the option for a URL, in which case you don't need to do that. It will pick it up dynamically, which obviously means it will change when you change your logo. If you're using this hard coded method, if you change your logo, make sure you either change or update this particular uh, URL or just upload the new folder, the new file as the same name. Okay. Okay, so that's the last change we're going to make. And obviously, again, I do need to scroll down and click on up, update file to make sure that's saved. Now, none of these changes are massive. They're all very quick and easy to do, and none of them will have a massive impact on their own, but together they can make a significant difference to the SEO for your site uh, to make sure that you get better results, okay? So that's our five WP SEO hacks. Now to get the PDF version with the codes in so that you can just copy and paste them to make life easier, uh, just go to trywp.com and make sure that you're opted in there. Uh, the download page has this video and the PDF as well as our advanced WordPress tweaks and our 12 quick essential setup checklist uh, changes that you need to make to a new installation of WordPress as well. So you get all those videos and PDF files. Just make sure you opt in at trywp.com to get the download page. Thank you very much for watching and please feel free to let us know what you think.